So back to the internet. I believe the internet will have a native currency. Really? It'll have a native currency. And I don't know if it's Bitcoin. I, I think it will because just given all the tests it's been through and the principles behind it, how it was created, and, um, you know, it was, it was something that was born on the internet that was developed on the internet that was tested on the internet it, it, it is of the internet and mm. the reason we um you know we enabled uh the purchasing of bitcoin with second thing is that we you know we would we would love to see something become a global currency it it, it enables more access it welcome to the crypto teacher and guys please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and W.O. Book. Also, those who donated to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love. And then also those who have purchase from the store. Much love to you. And remember, ladies, I'm going to have something for you also. Now, of course, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Like I stated yesterday, guys, we're going to make a move. So hopefully you got yourselves invested, got yourself, like I stated, get yourself in position and you made money today. And guys, like I said, we're going to have this small window up until back. Remember, every time they come out, hey, we're breaking records now. We're breaking records. So, guys, we know that we have a pump, then we have a pullback. We have a pump, then we have a pullback. We do the same thing every single month. So, guys, get yourself in position so you can make that easy money. And, guys, what I do is that a lot of times, if it's a crypto I don't have a lot of, I'll buy some to hold and i buy some to trade. So, therefore, I can sell when it goes high. I can sell some off the top. Guys, do not be greedy. Remember, greed will kill you every single time. Now, guys, we're going to get into the news here. We got a couple uh, big news stories. We have Jack Dorsey basically purchases uh, Square, purchases $50 million worth of Bitcoin. So, guys, we listen to the video, like he said, internet money. But we know what the internet money is going to be. What is that going to be? Yes, the U.S., D.C., or Tether. That's going to be the internet money. We already heard Brian Brooks with the stable coins. They are, the banks already have it. His conversation with Jeremy, who was working for Circle, and of course, Circle is owned by Goldman Sachs. So we know the U.S. dollar is not going anywhere, but it definitely has to be backed by something. And will that be Bitcoin? We don't know yet. Of course, it's looking like it, but we know things can change. But we know the Fed owns all Bitcoin. We know this. We know that there's bigger hands behind Bitcoin. But we're waiting for that Bitcoin lightning because I think that's the piece that we're actually missing. But like he stated, we they're looking at a global currency. Now, guys, we know the U.S. dollar is already a global currency. So all, that's all you hear about is global currency. Oh, my gracious. We're going to have a global currency. Guys, we already have a global currency. But what's the real objective, guys, with this whole crypto market? And we all know this because y'all are on a conscious channel. Crypto is to give them what? Global control. Replace the currency with control. That's all it's about. Remember, the U.S. dollar is used for sanctions. That's how we sanction and make other countries poor. So basically with cryptos, they'll be able to give it to everybody and guess what? Have global control control buy you cannot buy or sell without it same thing with these masks guys look at the bigger picture the u.s dollar is already global it's already a global currency but once they tokenize it they will have global control and then of course we get into this social credit and all this good stuff i've been over what so definitely they want everything controlled and that's when this virtual reality comes in Oh, I can't travel because my social credit is right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put on this headset and act like I'm going to Aruba with this virtual control. So, uh, so that's all this is about. That's why technology will replace people from going to, you know, flying different places. And a lot of people don't have the money to fly anyway. Now they'll be able to put on some glasses or whatever technology they come up with, and they'll be able to travel like they really in, you know, Aruba or Mexico or wherever they want to go. Now, we have BitMEX top leadership is out, guys. 
And basically, they didn't close it down. As we see, they're just going to put in the New World Order's people. That's all this about, guys. Remember, they're in Hong Kong. They can't do anything to these guys. All this is to switch these guys out. BitMax is too big, too much money. We know the same game is going to keep going. Now, guys, we have GM and Honda, which is big news, is going to be using Mobility Open Blockchain to launch a global standard to integrate blockchain technology for these vehicle charging stations. Now, guys, I went over this on my uh, stock channel, so make sure you are looking at this because these actual charging stations is going to be big money. All their stocks are booming. Now, former Morgan Stanley executive joins Gemini Crypto Exchange. We see Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan X, Goldman Sachs X employees. Guys, wherever money is going, they're going to put their people in place. The New World Order is just moving the pieces around. It's nothing but a chess game, guys. Now, we have Rap BTC tops $1 billion. That's after 900% increase in two months. In two months, guys. Now, London-based Cache, hopefully I'm uh, pronouncing that right, launches in India. So, guys, we always hear all these bands, but we know what? The Rothschilds control it. So, if it's coming out of London, we know it's going to be big. Now, we have KPMG unveiled blockchain solution to track climate emissions. So, that's all, they hear, that's all you hear about is carbon, carbon, carbon. As we know, Energy Web Token is definitely something to invest in, guys. And we know Warren Buffett, all the big hands, Tesla, they're behind that. Now we have Solana set to launch decentralized Ethereum bridge powered by DeFi. And then, guys, lastly, we have Pantera saying that they're going to place a heavier bet on DeFi than the rest of the market. So, guys, we know what? DeFi always takes the biggest hit when we go lower. Why? Because this is all speculation. So I definitely would not put all my assets heavier in DeFi than I do the rest of the market. Remember, the rest of the market is a whole lot older. So that's how I do my investments anyway. So the fact is, is that basically if I have a crypto that's stood the storm, like Bitcoin, Litecoin, they're going to be around at the end, plain and simple. They've been tried and tested. And that's the same way you look at investments. And uh, basically, I went over in a video on my stock channel how old Zoom is. Zoom dates all the way back to 2011. Guys, the, the New World Order already had things set in place when they actually pushed this C word. So the only thing you have to do is go back, trace the plan, and that's how you do your investments. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and WO Book. Also, the crypto, if you need the cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, stocks. Don't forget about the stock channel, guys. Keep up with it. You have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your gaming, your banking. Remember, the banks never, ever lose. They've been around since the beginning, guys. Never, ever bet against the banks. I don't care how low they go. They come right back up during the storm. And then also, guys, basically everybody sitting at home, don't forget about those stocks. The C word, guys, they're still pumping and dumping those stocks. And then, of course, while everybody's sitting at home getting free money or waiting on free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you all have a wonderful day.